up, YouTube family, and welcome back to my channel. You know where I am. You can see where I am. I'm in the gym. It's January. It's a new year, and we're ready to go. Uh, I've actually been sick back and forth for I don't know how long, too long, and we're here today. I have my first week back in the gym in 2024. This is like my first, this is my second workout in 2024. <laughs> so that's how, how sick I've been um, and how excited I am to get back. So we're here today. I'm simply just gonna take you with me on a lower body session. What's going on in my head when I train? <laughs> and just like, yeah, as we're buddies training together. That's what we're doing today. We have, I think, five or six exercises that we're gonna complete today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit sore since my first lower session this week. Uh, and I actually trained upper yesterday. No, it's my third, it's my third, because I trained upper yesterday. So my body is sore. <coughs> uh, but I'm ready. Warm up, done, gym, let's go. So today's workout will be a little different. You can find this workout in the description below, but if you want to have the guide that I'm currently doing, you can find it in the ONU app. It's the lower body sculpt build guide. Uh, today's focus will be a lot glutes, um, less legs, and yeah, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> but we're here, taking it step by step. That's my mental uh, instilling. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Worst place, must be the worst place to have to be sore in, it has to be inner thighs. Like it has to be, or maybe calves. No? Okay, inner thighs, worst. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. We're done. Let's move over. Today, hold my poodle. Why are you yelling at the mic? Thank you. I did a tan yesterday. You can't even tell. I did a tan yesterday. You can't even tell. Is it uh, vanilla? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Ellie, yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely is. <sighs> okay, tip for 2024. Put your phone on fucking not disturb. <laughs> Do, not disturb? Do not disturb, yeah. To on not disturb. We call it Muammar. We call it Muammar. Put your phone on Muammar. On the moon. That like you're on the moon and no one can reach you. <laughs> I have about 
five more minutes before I have to pee. <laughs> so I'm gonna, just gonna do one or one each leg just to feel the exercise. What I'm preparing, preparing my, myself a little bit for what's coming. We're doing kickbacks. Um, yeah, and then I <laughs> have to run to the toilet. What do you say, restroom? It has a lot of names, doesn't it? Name, name your toilet word in the comments. <laughs> Don't do that. I was thinking to stand on one of these to get a little bit, hold on, I'm just gonna see. Just to get a little uphill. It was a long time since I did it and I felt, I felt like I wanted to do that today. So we're doing that today. We're doing, also doing um, medius kickbacks. So we're aiming, I like to stand like this when I'm doing, when I'm doing um, um, medius kickbacks because you easily get the angle right. So we like that. I'm just gonna, mm, that felt kind of good today. So we'll see. And if you're doing it, not crossing your foot over, you need to be angling your body more like on the side to get the same. Hmm. That felt kind of good as well. That's why it's so important to do your warm ups. Because if you don't, just do your warm up. <laughs> I can feel that instantly. Mm, the burn. Not sure if I'm gonna do the uphill or uphill, not uphill. The step up, step, the step up, step. Or if I'm gonna do the crossover. Because that felt really good today. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh. Okay. Doesn't really matter what I do. I can feel both. <laughs> so I will probably just keep this one today. Now I have to be. Now I'll leave this. Done. Next exercise. This is a ticket, an expensive one. Sure. Never ever leave a bench with the sweat dripping off your head. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. After you use the bench, clean the bench. It's not that hard. It's definitely not that hard. Man, I always do this. Like every single time before I start a workout and using a bench or a machine or anything, I wipe it off before. And last week, there was a dude um, training at this machine. And when he was done, he stepped out of the machine and he was like, do you need me to uh, unload it? And I was like, no, well you can you can wipe it off <laughs> if you want. <laughs> it's not that hard. What the fuck? How do you say your mom doesn't work here or your dad? No one works here. <laughs> it's not only mom who cleans. Freaking hell. 
Okay. We're doing leg presses. What we're doing here is to put as much load on your ass as possible. And the stance that we want for that is, the thing is, this one is a little bit, I'm too short for this machine. So I need to push it up first and then come into posi position. So what you want here is a narrow, kind of narrow stand. You will see in one second when Lorik is gonna record from this angle. Um, so you want a tight, kind of narrow stance here and high as well, because from here, we're gonna go down to, and this is the length and position of your glutes. So what, what you wanna do is to lower down as far as possible to get the full stretch in your bum here before you push up. Oof, man. <laughs> yes. I don't think I need any more weights, honestly. So we're going down and what you don't want here as well is to tilt. You don't want to tilt this because you can injure your lower back. So you want to go down until you feel the stretch still controlled in your bum and then push back up. That, that's what we're doing. I love it that I have to do it. I have to go literally like this. I get calves in this as well. <laughs> I'm gonna work, work myself up. <laughs> Feels so weird when you're over there and I'm over here. I'm like, you can still hear me. The hard in the middle. Do you that? What I always do is that I work myself up to my working weights. So I'm not just gonna go into a machine and load on all the weights. I'm always gonna work myself, at least in this type of exercise where it's a lot of weights involved. This feels freaking awful and amazing at the same time. What's also really good when you're doing this exercise is actually to hold on to the machine and push your glutes down to the bench to avoid the tilting as well. Okay, two more plates. And to make the whole thing a little bit more fun, doing a stop at the bottom, lowering down slowly, controlling the reps, coming down, holding for one-ish second, push back up. A little bit more weight. Maybe 15? 15. This is 15. That one, this one. Whenever, if you're doing my workouts, whenever it is five to seven, 16 line reps, that is your heaviest set. So whenever the reps are low, that's when you should load on more weights. And when the reps becomes higher, that's when you can lower down the, the reps, uh, the weights a little bit and still push yourself. So the thing is to move as much weights as possible for as many reps as possible. Doing one heavy set, lowering down the weight, pushing up the reps, still pushing yourself with the reps, moving as much weights as possible, tracking your, your reps and tracking your weights like whatever you do in the gym track it 
and you will see progress because the next time you show up here, you will be like, ah, last time I took 150 in 150 kilos in uh, a leg press. And then next time you're like 155, maybe. Just a small way of challenging yourself always because we're here because we want to get be, become like the best version of ourselves and become the strongest version of ourselves. I'm uh, <laughs> having a little bit hard time talking with my <clears throat> liners in. Mm. You know what I mean. Wow, I can really feel how <laughs> this is the second workout that I've done in over two weeks. Second lower, second lower. That was heavy, but working myself up. Let's see how many that can relate to what I'm about to show you. How many can relate to this one? I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm just gonna say, how many can relate to this one? I don't wanna, don't want to do one more. But we have one more. Speaking of one more, we have one more challenge that just went live. This Monday, the 8th, and you have uh, until the 15th, next Monday, uh, to join the challenge. And the challenge is the you versus you challenge, and it's back. My OCD can't do this. Uh, it's back, and the you versus you challenge is exactly what it stands for. It's you versus yourself, you showing up for yourself, you committing to yourself. That's what we're doing. I think 12, almost 13,000 has already joined, which is insane. And it's so much fun to be a community, to push each other. We have a Facebook group where you can find so much motivation and inspiration from girls all, all over the world doing this. Uh, you can join the U vs. U Challenge in the Onu app. And we also have, for new members, we have an offer up to 50% off in the Onya uh, on subscriptions, both quarterly, annually, and monthly subscriptions. A quarterly, and you, yeah. <laughs> Said it too quick. Um, and yeah, you can do any, 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 any guide you like. If you want to do my guide that I'm currently doing, the lower body sculpt build guide, you can do that as well. Uh, and we also have, I had a new, a new guide went live just recently, the transformation guide 2.0. Molly has a new guide, which you need to check out for all the busy girls out there. Really good guide. So you can basically pick any guide you like in the, in the app. And the app will guide you, provide you with everything that you need to reach your goals and the tools to keep them. We have one more set. Woo! 
Boom! Ah, ah two more. Definitely not optimal for me when I am this short to just have to climb up in it. It's kind of annoying. We're doing squats in the snip machine. And I think why we do it in the snip machine is because we're going to have as less knee flexion as possible to target the glutes more. So we're gonna push back the glutes as far back as we can and flex the knees as little as possible. I'm gonna show you. Stance can be, doesn't have to be straight under you, can be a little forward, but narrow and kind of tight as for the leg press, same as the leg press. Placing like this, so instead of going in a squat like this, with a lot of knee flex, we're gonna be here, tight, narrow stance. From here, pushing back the glutes, almost like you're doing an RDL or a good morning. Pushing back the glutes here, and then coming down to here, and up. And this is also to target glutes, lengthen in position, coming up. I can literally feel it just by doing this. <sighs> fake ID. Did I ever use a fake ID? Did I? No, I did not. I I did not. I was I was about to, but I didn't. Um yeah. My dad was a cop, so <laughs> I respected that. I was a good girl. Not always. One more. <laughs> mm. oh. If you haven't tried, if you haven't tried, you better. Man. Bulgarians. Uh, one thing, or there's a lot of things to think about when you're doing Bulgarians, but one thing is do not do your Bulgarians like this. If you, if you stand like away, up, yeah, maybe somewhere there, don't do your Bulgarians like this. You see what I'm doing? It's like a wow. Well, because the thing is, the only thing you will be pushing with, or not the only thing, but it's not optimal for your glutes 
to be in this position going back because all the tension and all the pressure will be on this foot right here instead of on your glutes because that is what's like catching you when you're swinging like this instead of like leaning a little bit forward and having a straight because like gravity comes from here it doesn't come from back here so what you want to do is to push from here straight up and you don't have to be like this super straight you can still be a little forward but as long as you go down here instead of back here because this will not be optimal you can see the difference between being here only glutes while being back here I can feel such a difference from being here where all my um, all the weight is resting on the behind leg instead of here on my glutes pushing up Bulgarian shit squats let's go I'm, I'm thinking uh, all I want to do is like kill my legs and kill my bum but I need to be realistic and kind to myself as it is the second session and the first week back so I'm not gonna move mountains today we're just gonna do with the exercise work on the exercise exercise execution and performance so I'm thinking I'm gonna do with one dumbbells instead of two today it's also for your own preferences what you like but that's what my in instincts are telling me today do one dumbbell one okay hmm Hmm, where do I want to be? 25? It's a long time ago. <laughs> Why do you feel like a rookie? <laughs> it's a thing. I'm thinking 20, 27 maybe. Let's try this one, Let's see how it feels. Again, using lifting straps because I want to be cool. Only that. <laughs> That's the main reason. Heavy eight, that was the aim. And that was a perfect eight. Weight wise, good. Struggling, yes. Being kind still, yes. But heavy still, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Just do it. The only thing pushing me forward right now is that I have two sets left. Not a single exercise.
We're done for today. I will probably, I have a rest day tomorrow. Let's just leave it with that, <laughs> which is good, <laughs> which is really good. I need, I need a rest day tomorrow. Um, yeah, currently I'm doing three lower body days a week, which means a lot of rest, obviously, to be able to recover myself. Uh, the reason why I do three lower body days a week is because the stubborn glutes are still freaking stubborn uh, and uh, yeah <laughs> I'm working on it uh, but still it's always good to have some struggles we need some struggles um, yeah so I will continue on this path uh, nothing is impossible and I proved that to myself a lot with the lower body sculpt build guide a lot happened uh, but more can happen and this is like my short-term goal that I'm uh, w like doing for myself uh, Yeah, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video We will be back with a new video. Let me know what you think about these Real and raw kind of videos or if you want more educational videos, whatever you want to just let me know in the description in the comments below what you like you will find this specific workout in the description below otherwise you will find the lower body sculpt guide in the app for new users up to 50 percent off the app uh you versus you challenge is on it if you're sick now watching this it's fine you have until next monday to join 60 days committing to yourself for yourself that's what we're doing with a little motivation and help from each other in this cute little community <laughs> so have an awesome day see you in my next video love you guys <laughs>